Okay, we're over on the lathe. I'm going to make the spud that goes into this that this is going to ride on. It needs to be 700 thou long and then the end that goes up against the ball bearing I'm going to radius, full radius it. So I've got some material in there. It's, o, it's W1 material. O1. Water. Water hardening. And I need a pin that's 700 thou long. So I'll get a hard off blade here. And we will part it off. This is a 50 thou wide blade. I need to go and do some cleaning here. <clears throat> I'm going to set my camera phone. I have my camera phone set back on the tailstock. Sitting right here. We'll see if we can get some footage with that also. And we'll see which one is better. Okay, the phone's recording. I got it set right there. Let's give her a whirl here. This is a 50 thou part off blade. So we're going to here and touch. I'll set my dial back here. My travel dial. And we'll go 700 thou over. 750. Five, six, seven hundred and fifty. And we'll see what we can do. And we'll run her a little slow here first. Can't loose it. Okay, loosen the collar. Well, that's not good. <clears throat> 750. That's alright, it stuck out a little too far for me anyway. I want it right up next to the collar. Let's tighten her up this time. Tighter. There we go. Now it won't come loose. And I'm going to turn my spider in back here to keep it from flopping around. To try to keep it from flopping around anyway. There we go. Alright. Alright, let's do this again. Touch off. Right there. Go to 750. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and 50. Got room. Perfect. It's right up to the collet. That's what I wanted. And anyway, what I was going to say, well, I'm going to run it slow here to get the oil circulating. I think it'll run much faster than that anyway, part that off. Probably 600. But we're running 360 now. Alright, now we're going to kick her up to 600.
I'm going to do one at a time here too, so you can take that out. Material out. Put this in there, and we'll get a radius on the end of that. I'm just going to do it with a file. A file or a stone. Let's back this out of the way. And get a file. Actually, pretty smooth that file. <laughs> I was going to get a stone to, to smoothen it out, but I think it looks pretty good the way it is. Let's see here. So now we're going to heat treat it. I'm going to uh, fire up the torch, heat that up red, and then quench it. Um, I don't know if I can get it hot enough with butane or propane. Nope, I'm going to get the, the, the acetylene going. So I'm going to turn off the cam, the phone. Recording. Get my two pieces here. So, we need a couple bearings. And we need a pin. And first thing we'll do is put the top one on there first. That'll go on here. And I'm going to lock tight those in place on the pin. So. This Loctite is pretty quick, so, I mean, it doesn't take but a second or two, and so I'll put a little bit on the pin here, less than a drop, that's actually too much. Okay. I don't want it to get me inside the bearing, I'm locking up the bearing. The bearing on here again. Slide it in there about like that. Okay. And then the other one, about two to three hundred thou. Up. And when I put the Loctite on there, I kind of wipe it all back off because you can't get a, a small drop. It's so thick that I just wipe it off. So there's just it's just glistening of Loctite, but not really no, not a lot. <laughs> okay, and we'll slide that on there. Two to three hundred. I should have had a scale here. Quick hurry. Quick hurry, hurry. Right about there. Right where it's at. Let that sit for a minute. Lock that away.
Hmm. For some reason, this Loctite in the back one, it almost feels like this bearing is too big. The other one is, is on there. So let's try a different bearing. I think that bearing is not, yeah it is. It's just, this must be one of them I took out a hard drive. <laughs> I was wondering why it wouldn't set, it wasn't attaching. So I'll get the Loctite out again. I had a 30 thou gap to, to fill. Well, not a 30, but I had a gap there. Then. All right, now let's try it again. Make sure I got got it on far enough. Yeah, see now I didn't get it. There we go. Oh, we'll let it sit for a minute or two. <clears throat> what I plan on doing is is putting it in, in here and then just sliding that down um, on top of it. I should put a I should put a shim on there. A piece of paper. I'll cut a piece of paper. One little shim so that when I take the shim out it'll, it'll spin freely. one of my business cards and cut me one if I can if I can find my scissor now Just a cardboard, or not cardboard, but my business card. And I'll stick that on the pin before I put it on. Okay, Loctite's uh, still not tightened up all the way. I'm surprised. I really am. Usually that Loctite, well, it worked on this one it, right away. Unless I got some grease on it or something on the pin. All right, it's starting to torque me off now. I'm gonna clean it with alcohol. Got a residue of something on there that it doesn't like.
I wiped it with alcohol a little bit. Measure the distance from the end again. Very surprised at that lock that I didn't set up. Well, I guess we'll wait. <laughs> but what I'll do is I'll put that on here. When I press that in, that way I can take and pull it off and then cut it and take the paper out of there. Hopefully. Um, when we get done with that, I do have a drawing for the blades. And so the small short blade, which is only an inch and about inch 200 long. Uh, it's got about a one inch diameter. I should be able to cut all four of them out of one piece. That's what I'm going to shoot for anyway. I have the cordal height here, which is only 60 thou, and uh, the length will be whatever the length comes out to be. Then the leading edge of the blade gets a radius buffed on it. Alright, let's see if I can slide this in there. I should probably wash that though. If it get Loctite, it'll be Loctite together and I won't be able to get it apart. Yeah. Well, I'll be back when I get this Loctited on there. For some reason, for some reason, it's not uh, working real well. Well, darn it anyway. When I drilled the hole in uh, these little platforms, I grabbed the wrong size drill. The hole's way big. <laughs> it's uh, 189, so. This uh, rod is not going to fit in. I mean, it's going to. So, I need to make a plug or a, a bushing to fit on. So, I have to go back over to the lathe and turn up some bushings. Some small bushings to fit in there. I don't know how I done that. It's at 189 right now thinking about taking and drilling them up a little bit bigger to I could drill them to a quarter inch maybe and then make a bushing let me see here I can drill it to like 249 249 that yeah, wouldn't leave much for a wall thickness how about 316 it's 187? Well, I am at 189. So, darn it, darn it, darn it. <laughs> so, I'll grab the 316 material, drill it for that rod, and part it off, put it in there. I guess that's no big deal. Um, I don't know how I did that. Oh yeah, I did. I, I can tell you. I grabbed the wrong drill. <laughs> so I'm going to go back over to lathe. And I'll continue on lathe with my, with my phone. Okay, I have some 3 16 rivets. That's what I'll make a sleeve out of. 
So we'll just stick a rivet in there. Take the head of it off. Um, I want a little more RPM now. We'll go a thousand. Here we go. Two more. File a little lead on it. Here we go. Here we go. And then we'll center drill and drill the right size hole for it. Uh, center drill. Okay. Whoop. Moving, moving you up. <laughs> now I need drill it's actually that uh, shaft is actually a metric size which is uh, 157 so I need a drill 157 or just a tad smaller and the 157 is the one that's missing <laughs> Wonder if that's why I grabbed the wrong grill. Hmm. I'll have to hunt up a 157 grill. Okay, stop laying here. Well, I guess I will go away and then I'll come back when I find a drill. Okay, I found my 157. <laughs> it was laying over there underneath uh, underneath the helicopter. Back you up a little bit. And we'll drill it deep enough for two. For two of them. Let's get there zoomed in. I kind of like that zoom on this camera. It looks like it's zooming in pretty well. So at least 450 deep. That would be for two of them. Okay, we're at one, two, three, four, five. That should be deep enough. That should be deep enough for two of them. Now, put the drill away. Grab one of these small ones that I found lots of small ones while I was looking. <laughs> so I'm just going to take and put a small drill on there. Put a small drill on there. Take it in to the bottom and I'm going to lock it. I'm going to get my narrow part off blade. 
Am I going to be able to get in there? No. No. I need to get a longer drill so I can back up. That's okay. That's okay. I have a longer one here. I just don't want to drop it down in there and then lose it. All the way to the bottom. And you got to go up a little bit. All right. Now, come in here and touch off. Touch off on the end. And go 250. 1, 2, 50. And we'll part it off there. <laughs> sticking out far enough so we'll have to back this off a little bit pull that rivet out a little more come in and touch just got a lot of final lead on again And then go 250 again. 1, 2, 50. There we go. We got two bushings here. Now we'll see if we can get them pushed in, into place. Let's go back. Let's go over to the mill. See if I can set you up over here somewhere. You know, I'll just move a tripod over here. I think one of my bushings rolled away, didn't it, while I wasn't looking. Losing them on the lathe, and then I lose them over here. <laughs> That's something. I wasn't paying attention when I set them down. Here it is. I found it on the floor. I found it on the floor. All right. This over here. Put the lead side in. I'll get my plastic hammer. Ah. Put enough lead on there. I like the lead a little more lead than that so it straightens it out when you, when you tap it in. And these are rivets so they're soft.
Now I can run a file across the top of that. There's only about 25 thou or less than that even to file off here. Burr that a little bit. Get that little edge off on the top. There we go. Now, get the pin. Working on. I got the pin in the in the housing, and we'll take and put that paper on there, on that pin. Yeah, see the pin is on the housing, so. so now we'll take and now we need a little Loctite. Well, that's what I was planning on. First go around. I was planning on in the first go around that there'd be a little Loctite involved. So I'll just put a dab in the hole. Stick it in there, drop it down, push it into place, and let it sit for a little bit. And once, once it's set up, I'll pull that housing back off because those bearings are slip fit in the, the housing. And uh, I'll pull that back off, take the paper out of there, and we'll be set. Next. So, we'll do that, do that one more time, make another pin. I'm going to make another pin and Loctite it, or, or, um, crown it and then lock tight the bu bush or bearings on there and set it up just like this one here we'll use this other bushing this other sleeve so to put it over here by the on the turntable so i don't lose it and once i get that done i will come back and we'll mount that on the helicopter where it belongs so i will be back